The Lion King is back in town at the Cadillac Palace Theater, and one of the actors you may see on the stage in the iconic Simba role is from right here in Chicago. His mother has written a book about his success. They join us now today, Felisa Ray and her son, Aaron Nelson. Thank you both for coming in. Oh, Appreciate we're it. I'm so happy to be here with you, Micah. Oh, oh this is great. super excited. Oh, well, I'm I think excited. I was. 15 when I had the opportunity to write the Channel 9 WGN float oh. when I became Miss Teen Illinois. Oh my goodness yes. gracious. Yes, I oh. am happy so to be here. So you've come home, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's so nice to see you guys. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about how this young man has become this young man. Oh my goodness. So it was a journey. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I start watering his talent seeds when he was really young. You so, really so young. you could see it in him back then, Yes, huh? yes. Okay. As soon as you see uh, them dancing or, or singing or creating art, mm -hmm. you know, it's good to water those small seeds and see if they grow when you water uh -huh, them. Give uh -huh. them. And give them, look, and be their first cheerleader. Right, that's, definitely, that's for sure. And that's pretty much what you did. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember the, the, the humble beginnings? Oh, well, the, the funny thing is, well, I would think the first performance I had is when she took me to the uh, Ringling Brothers circus oh and we got there early oh yeah he <laughs> was like six years old um ringling brother circus and we tr we were beating the traffic uh-huh and so we got there like a half an hour before the rest of the uh, guests were coming and they let us come in and sit down and a lady comes from the back area and approaches us while we're sitting in the stadium. And she, she, asked, she said, do you think your son would like to be in a circus? And before I could say, ask a question, he goes, he jumps up to he says, yeah, me, ma, ma, yeah. I so that be. was the beginning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah. So, so Aaron, you always circus. knew you wanted to do this, and mom was there the, the whole time. Absolutely. Tell us about Lion King. Now, you, you play a lot of different characters, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, yes, yes. I play the Lion Kings of the show. So yeah. that's Simba, Mufasa, and Scar. So it, it, it basically you're an understudy, and so how often do you get a chance to actually do it? Like yes. every uh, night? <laughs> uh, it depends on the night. I can yeah. get a call five minutes before the show. It all depends. I always have to stay ready to play anybody. How do you do that? How do you play three characters? How are you able to do that? We can only play one at a time, right? So right. whenever I get the call, you have to lock in to each character is just one scene, one role at a time for me. I, if I think about every character, I would just go back. <laughs> What is it about acting that you like so much? Uh, it's just, you know, just being able to reflect reality to people, you know, like people say, how do you play Scar and Simba and Mufasa? I think we have every single one of those inside of us. Now, we have our times, we want to be nasty. We have our, our regal moments and we have our curious, ambitious moments. So I think it's all in this. It's all a reflection of reality. How much of your success do you owe to your mom? Everything. Everything. Um, because, you know, I, I wasn't a... Uh, Everyone's not fortunate enough to have a parent that supports them in the arts. She never wanted me to be practical. She always wanted me to dream big and be ambitious, so I just followed everything she put in me. So, everything. And oh, Felisa, that, obviously that, that touched you. <laughs> <laughs> but to take it and put it in a book is amazing that you did this. Listen, Aaron was 15 years old, and Lion King was at the Cadillac Palace here. And I let him know we were going to go. And we wind up going the very last day of the run. I work night shifts. I work overtime to make sure we had money to pay to, uh, for the tickets to get mm -hmm. into the show. And we're running late. I work nights, took a nap, and woke up. And I went, oh my gosh, we only have two hours. Oh. He's like, Mom, you got to hurry up. Get dressed, get dressed, <laughs> get dressed. So we make it to the theater. We make it to the theater, and the gentleman says, okay, step to the side. I said, we don't have tickets. We're here to buy tickets. I'm mm -hmm. being very humble. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, step to the side. We're, we're going to see what we can come up with. And maybe 10 minutes later, after a few guests got picked up mm -hmm. their tickets, he said, come here. <laughs> he said, I got two tickets for you. Aww. So I reached in my purse for my um, debit card, and he said, I said, well, how much? He said, $39. I said, $39 a ticket for Lion For the Lion King. And he's like, yes. I said, oh, I, I, I can pay cash yeah. for that. But what gets better is that we look at the tickets and we're getting ready to walk upstairs to the balcony because I'm, I'm for sure these are nosebleed seats. <laughs> and right toward the front row. Wow. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. And when we left there, he was, a, he was captured. He was completely captured by the entire show. And when we left the, the theater, all he kept saying was, Ma, 
It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And he said, guess what? I said, what? He said, guess what I want to do? I said, well, what? I thought he was going to say, oh, I want to sing and dance. Right. That's what he's been doing. He said, I want to be Simba. Oh, and look what happened. Thank yes, you sir. both so much. Good luck to you. Thank Come you so and see much. him. The Lion King is at the Cadillac Palace Theater through January 14th. You can find details and tickets at broadwayinchicago.com. Good luck to you. Happy holidays. Thank, Thank you. you so much.